Hey everybody, the world you see now today is about to change rapidly. How? Let's find out. Hat tip to Wall Street Journal and Lindsay Chu. Order a package? AI researchers are hunting for the best way to get it to your doorstep. In the next few years, AI promises to transform the logistics of consumer deliveries with a number of new technologies and improvements to older ones. One of the most expensive and resource intensive parts of delivery is the last mile. Delivery drones promise to make the process much more efficient. Amazon, for one, has been testing drones since 2013 and has delivered packages via drones since 2022. It said last October that it planned on expanding the program this year. Now a range of companies are using AI to beef up the capabilities of drones. Wing, a delivery drone company owned by Alphabet, parent of Google, uses AI to let devices decide the best place to leave packages bypassing obstructions. Wing is focused on last minute items for nearby customers like drinks and medications where the small aircraft can outpace a delivery truck driving out or a customer heading to the store. The average flight time for a wing drone to customers is less than 30 minutes. That's from order to arrival. Shannon Nash, chief financial officer at Wing, says the company recently joined with Walmart to help expand the retail giant's deliveries in the greater Dallas-Fort Worth area. The drones fly a few hundred feet above the ground, then descend down to about 20 feet to lower packages. The company is also testing a system where drones can do self-assessments, such as battery checks, with little human intervention. Says Nash, all roads lead to the autonomous route. Pay attention to that comment. We'll talk about it at the end. By the way, if you like what you're seeing so far, please like, subscribe, and share. We depend on you for your support. Other companies are tackling the last 50 feet, the time-consuming process of getting packages from the delivery truck to the customer door. This leg of the process accounts for 20 to 50% of overall transportation supply chain costs. So that last, Few feet is a huge proportion of shipping cost. Vault Robotics, a spinoff from Princeton University's Safe Robotics Lab, is designing robots that can climb curbs and stairs. While a van is still moving down the street, robots can move in and out of the vehicle to deliver parcels to doorsteps. That's a trip and it is coming soon. However, some AI works in tandem with human delivery drivers. Researchers have been looking into the time-wasting process of parking. The Urban Freight Lab says about 28% of a driver's time during a delivery route is used in looking for parking spots. That's a big percentage. In a project sponsored by the U.S. Energy Department, the lab deployed curve sensors in a Seattle neighborhood transmitting real-time information about available parking spaces. Combining machine learning and sensor information, the system can predict when spaces will be available and direct drivers toward spots that are opening up while drivers are in transit. So this is technology coming to all major cities very soon. Researchers are also looking for ways to use AI to boost driver safety by doing things like alerting drivers to dangerous situations much more quickly and more accurately than traditional onboard systems. A dash cam from fleet management tech company Motive successfully alerted drivers to unsafe behavior about 86% of the time, which is a high percentage. The devices look for red flags such as drowsiness. Motive also offers AI technology that is designed to eliminate blind spots around corners and stuff like that. Using the AI Omnicam, cargo drivers can see on the sides and rear of their trucks through the camera, and the AI can look for signs of potential crashes and alert drivers. So this technology is first going to roll out to commercial vehicles, but then it's coming 
to passenger vehicles in the 2030s. Whether you like it or not, people out there, driver monitoring is coming for sure. Why? Zero drunk drivers. It is coming and you won't be able to stop it. It's no different than seat belts. Delivery drivers already use software to find the best routes. Researchers are looking to beef up that capability with an AI for the job. MIT's Mega City Logistics Lab is working on a model that can take into consideration complex real-world constraints. For example, drivers can choose a route that may not be the shortest, but allows them to park more conveniently or unload packages in a safer spot. Vault Robotics, meanwhile, is trying to help its robots figure out the best and safest routes from a delivery van to the customer's doorstep. For example, instead of taking a straight path to a home from the van, robots can learn to avoid bumming into humans walking or an animal running and take an alternative route to avoid mishaps. The founder of the Safe Robotics Lab says, they are training the robot's decision-making with millions of situations that will then pass through real-time testing and verification. So what does all that mean? It means, A, if you're a delivery driver, I've told you this many times before, multiple instances of evidence to look for another job. That's number one. Number two, I said, first off the bat at the start of this visit, get ready for the world that you see to change. So starting this year, but rolling out gradually over the next five years, five years from now, before 2030, you will see drones in the air all over the place delivering packages and robots all over the sidewalks and urban environments delivering packages. This is a huge change, but start getting used to it mentally at least anyway now. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and share. Also support us on Patreon. We appreciate your support and we'll see you next video.